Today we have the Minecraft Snapshot 16W41A. There have been a lot of bug fixes, but I am going to be showing you only the observer block changes because it breaks a lot of redstone contraptions, okay? So let's just get started. First of all, placing the block, the observer block. So in the previous snapshots, you would place it like this. So the sensor would be facing you. That is how you put it in the previous snapshot. So you would place it like this and the sensor would face you. But now the output is facing you. It is like something with the pocket edition, I guess. I don't know that what is going on with the pocket edition because I have not played it. So now it will face the output towards you, not the sensor. So you will have to keep that in mind. The next thing is it now runs on redstone ticks. A single redstone tick will be in the output, not a single game tick. So that means that if I update this, it just extends and retracts. But what it did in the previous snapshot was it would leave this redstone block right here because it was on a single game tick. The output was on the single game tick. So that has been changed. So yeah, some of the contraptions have been broken. As you can see, the block gets retracted back. So I'm going to change my contraptions, the designs after the full release is up because these are development snapshots and some features may be changed in these. So you got to look out for that. The next thing is the observer block does not get updated by air blocks. So as you can see, we have spaces in these ones. We have redstone here. We have full observer block line right here and repeaters right here. So if I update them all, as you can see that these three gets the redstone output, but this piston does not get the redstone output. This is because they, the observer block now do not take updates from air blocks, which they used to do in the previous snapshots. The next thing is we have got an extension. Previously, you have to put a repeater right here to make the redstone signal go far. But now it has been changed to the normal redstone output, which is about 15 or 16 blocks probably. So now if I do this, if I update this, as we can see, that is about on the 16th block from here. This is first block and that is the piston is on the 16th block. So the redstone signal from the observer block has been extended. One more thing I wanted to check is whether it takes the liquid levels or not. So if I press this once, as you can see, everything is good. So now let's just see. Okay, so it is taking the liquid levels. That means the if the liquid level is going down or up, so this is taking that. Let me just break this. So the it is that feature is still here. So for the final bit, we have a contraption which was shown in Mumbo Jumbo's video. The link will be down in the description for his video. So in that he showed us the contraption in which we can use observer blocks to make cross sections like this of the redstone. So in this he showed that if we flick this lever, this piston should extend, this piston should extend and retract. And when we flick this lever, this, pitch, this piston should extend and retract. And they should not be powering both of them, only one of the pistons. So one side is okay. As you can see, if we flick this, this piston is responding and not that one. But uh, for some reason, if I flick this lever, everything is okay. It did not retract, which it should. And if I flick it again, it is somehow like this. It is powered. I don't know what is going on. So it might be a bug, which may be, which might be patched in the next snapshot, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> so this side does not work, but this side actually works. And as you can see, it is doing some things which it should not be doing so yeah definitely i don't know if we could uh, if it gets patched or not so these can be changed means the later snapshots which come after this might have these features which are being changed like these uh, game ticks and stuff i don't know it might get changed i don't know about that so 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.